Today is the big day. I'm going thrift shopping in Hartford, Connecticut. I remembered last night while I was driving here that it's the capital. It was really cool passing it. I didn't realize I was going to like a big city, but I will be doing some thrift shopping around Hartford, not really in the city. And then I want to go to a mall that is in the other side of Hartford, which is towards New York. So I'm going to go thrifting and then go to the mall and then I'm going home because it's an hour and a half away from the mall. So I am in this huge house right now, alone. It's kind of creepy. Um, it's huge. There are also horses on the property. There is like a whole barn. So I do want to go to the barn and see the horses before I go. I saw them last night and they look so cute. Just have a couple bags to grab. I put most of the stuff in the car already. And I do have to leave this place unlocked because I don't have a key. So I'm excited to see these horses and hopefully take some pictures. I really don't know because it's so cold outside. Look at all this property. This is the front yard. Here's one. So cute. And there's a few more over there. I think they were just fed their breakfast because there are a lot of cars here there's this kitty cat he's coming towards me i was just calling him over or her i don't know i wish i had treats Psst. hi hey there oh you're so cute you're so cute hey there you looking at me you're so big oh my god guys i'm honestly like scared of horses and i want to pet it but i don't know <laughs> oh my god he looks nice so are she i did pet the horse a couple times um he or she honestly didn't check kept putting their head like over the fence so i figured you're pretty friendly let's do this and i even googled it but I couldn't really get to the neck, so I just pet the side of its face. So, lovely lighting. I'm here at Savers. I've never been to a Savers before, so I don't know what the prices are like. I have heard of it before, and they've only been open for an hour, I think, or maybe two hours, and the parking lot is pretty packed. So, I don't know if I'm going to film in there. I know I'll film like in the dressing room if I do find stuff, so let's go. Making art, you make. Trying to find something to believe Because I'm running wild, I ain't running free Still got a lot of shit left to see I'm stuck in this town and the town's stuck in me Always trying to find another reason to leave So on this trip, I've been looking for really good fabrics like wool and cotton and linen So I have some really good brands to try on behind me and I am just really trying to get out of my comfort zone and look for more adult things, things that are versatile. So I try to sift through the things as fast as possible. I'm looking for neutrals. I do have a pop of color, so I'm excited to show you guys. And the one thing I didn't do is bring a tank top, so hopefully my skin doesn't get too irritated. I've heard good things about Gap Venom, so I found this pair. This is a size 25, and they fit really well. They are stretchy, but there's something wrong with the back and the seam is not like right and I'm sure that's fine but now I know Gap has pretty good denim and I can fit it which is normally you know the thing I feel like I don't know I feel like I'm just a grown up now caffeine mornings vodka nights gotta be awake gotta live this life hoping there's more so I got some fun things. I have to use the bathroom and I didn't do it in there because I just wanted to leave. The lady that checked me out was so rude. But anyway, I have to figure out where I'm going to eat. I just want something quick. I was in there forever. It's currently 1.50. So 1, 12, 1. Oh my God, almost three hours. And I got like four things, but it's fine. I had fun and I am not sure if I'm going to go down to the thrift store. I just want to head west towards home, so I'm gonna figure that out right now. Shit will just come to a stop. Let's 
currently five o'clock and I got Starbucks. I have not drank enough water today, not gonna lie. I was in the mall for too long, um, just exploring because it was a nicer mall, but it was very chill, so it was comfortable. I'm going to stop at one more Savers because I feel like this one might have some good stuff. We shall see, it's like really close. And then I'm going to head home. My feet hurt really bad too. I'm just going to power through, which is why I got the coffee, but don't do what I do because I need to chug this water, basically. So I'm home and I am so tired. I drove for so long and I am ready to take off my makeup and relax. But I'm going to show you guys all the things that I got. I did get three things that were not thrifted because they go to the mall and two of them were kind of planned. One was not. So I don't know what to start with. I think I'll start with the non-thrifted stuff just because get out of the way. So I got this beanie. I know, super fun. It was $10 from Urban Outfitters. Now, I don't shop at Urban Outfitters and I'm definitely like too old for that store. I just keep telling myself that. And there are a lot of young people in there, but when I was there, it was not yet time. So there were like older people there, like older people there. And it was kind of weird and awkward. Um, but yeah, I started a hat collection. Well, not really collection this winter because I have a bunch of beanies, but I didn't have any hats that have a pom-pom and I feel like it's just a more grown-up look. So I have a black one that's kind of patterned, a gray one, and now I have this one. So I really wanted a cream one and I found it and I'm really happy about that. Then I went to Sephora and I wasn't going to get anything. I do plan on getting some things from Charlotte Tilbury's website because I have a 10% off, but the one product that I wanted to get was sold out online, so I got it at Sephora and it's the Airbrush Flawless, fi Flawless Finish, oh my gosh, in the shade number two, or medium, and I really wanted or needed a setting powder that was pressed because I actually don't have one that's matte. And this one is nice and sleek, and I love the packaging. I'm so excited to use it. And then I got the new Pillow Talk shade in number two, and I have not ever owned, what? I've never owned the first or the original one, and I really wanted it for a while, but I wasn't sure if it was too light for me, so when I heard that she was coming out with darker ones, I was really excited. And I got the lip liner and not the lipstick because I have the lipstick um, in another color. It might be a different formula, but it's not my favorite. It's the one I wear my wedding day. I really have to do research on this because I don't know. But this, like, I put it on my hand. It's still kind of there, and I was like trying to remove it with makeup remover, so it really stays. And I really love lip liner because it's tiny. I also got this from Sephora, which is brand new. Um, they gave me 15% off for four days valid, Thursday through Monday. Oh my gosh, because I spent $50 or more. They're like doing weird stuff with the reward system. If you want more information on that, I recommend you check out Leisha's channel, L-E-E-S-H-A. She used to be ex Barkage. She has a whole series talking about Sephora. So yeah, that's interesting. So moving on to the stuff that I got at Savers. I only got stuff from the first store. I did go a second time to a different store but I didn't find anything. I found two things, but I decided not to get them because I think it was just too much money and I was pretty happy with what I got already. So, how many things did I even get? So this is my first time at Savers and I did have stuff in my card to donate and I heard over the intercom that if you donate, you get 20% off your next purchase. They give you a coupon. So I had some stuff ready and I went to my car and I donated so I got the coupon. So that was really awesome. So I spent $35 on everything. And I feel like I haven't been talking to many people today so my mouth is not functioning correctly. So the first thing that I got is this cashmere sweater and it's by the brand Charter Club two ply cashmere. This was $6.49 and no holes. I double check everything for holes like 
what I'm about to check out because I hate when I take something home and I'm like, crap. So this is a nice turtleneck. I think they sell this at JCPenney. I don't know why I think that. But the cable knit is like that twisty cable knit and I wasn't sure about it at first. Like it seemed kind of like old lady-ish, but I was like, whatever. It's a nice basic and I do like the texture. Like who knows? Who would know that this is from freaking Charter Club, all right? The second item is a skirt and this is by, what's that brand called? John Galt, like the Brandy Melville brand. And it is this skirt. It's red with blue, red, white, and blue, like the words for 4th of July, and black. And it fits so well. This was $6.99. And I just love the uh, two little slits. It's a more of a fitted skirt, so it doesn't look too young. Like, I feel like if it was a different shape, it would look too young. But I really love these types of plaid. Oh my god, I think I have a dress that looks like this. No, I don't. It doesn't have blue. It's fine. Then I found another thing from Brandy Melville. Again, I don't shop Brandy Melville, um, but when I do find it, it's really nice because the stuff fits me and I like the material. So this was $6.49 and it's a cropped sweatshirt. So this is made in Italy, 60% wool, 20% viscose, 20% polyester. So it's going to be a nice warm layering piece and the last top i got is by banana republic and this is oh my gosh 100 percent merino wool and i was on the fence about this because i'm not used to wearing light sweaters in this shape i love the color and it's really thin so it's going to be thin but keep you warm um they're like snug on the arms they look a little strange in the armpit region but honestly, that's just me. I am just so strange with the whole armpit region. I just hate it. Um, so yeah, I just have to get used to that. Like the way it looks with your bra. I think it's normal. I looked up pictures, honestly, to make sure they look normal. Like, you know, on the models, as I was seeing it in the mirror on myself. And then the last item that I got is this jacket by Max Jeans. And I got it in a size medium because they didn't have it in a small, obviously. And I know they have this brand at TJ Maxx. I actually have a vest by this brand. This was $9.49 and it's a like olive green but a faded olive green. And I just am trying to find nice little overcoats that aren't knits. And this one was nice. I love wearing olive green. And I have two other, well one other thing that's all olive green. But it's more of a stiff jacket and this is like really really buttery and flowy I'm not really sure what this is made out of it's tensile not really sure what tensile is I feel like that's a material that I find um, that's like sustainable and maybe I'm making that up who knows so those are all the things that I got I'm really happy with what I found and man New York where I live and Jersey, even North Jersey, their thrift stores are like slacking. Or maybe I just wasn't looking for the right things at those times. So I'm even more excited to like go thrifting because I have a better eye. So I really check for fabric. And I do like to get better brands because they're not made out of polyester. So I look for cotton, linen, wool, and cashmere. Um, certain things or and silk, but certain things need to be dry cleaned. So I look for things that don't need to be dry cleaned. I think one of these things is. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a magical day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.